Hey guys, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you my Christmas um, decorations for 2015. And you may see the dog in a cameo here. He is standing at my feet. Um, but I wanted to share with you. Uh, this is actually our living room. And um, I just have a few decorations out here. We chose not to put the Christmas tree in here this year because now that I've um, cleaned out my old craft room, well, sort of, moved all my crafty supplies, and not even all, but the majority of it. We have room in the um, old craft room for the tree. So that's where our Christmas tree is. Um, it is a sun porch. So there's plenty of sun out there, um, but the tree is a fake tree anyway. So anyway, I thought I'd start here in the living room. Um, this is our Christmas cactus, and it's ready to really um, put out a lot of blooms. You can see these little white or pinkish looking things. Those are the buds. It's a pink um, Christmas cactus. Um, but anyway, um, I thought I'd show you some of the ornaments. I did not get a chance to show you so you could see them. I just put a tea light up there. Um, but this is one of the ornaments that I have made. Um, you can see here. It's a little red lantern that I got at AC Moore. And um, I put some little trees in there in gray and some snow. The lid is not glued down, so you can open the lid, and I could change it out if I wanted to. And then I just put some of this um, wired evergreen on here. These little Scrabble tiles are from Michaels, and um, there's a cardinal up at the top with a gingham ribbon. And then I just added some fake snow. So that is one of the ornaments I made, and I chose not to hang it on the tree because I thought, you know, we had a lot of we had enough ornaments up there, so and it's kind of heavy. So I'm going to turn around and show you the other area of the living room that's decorated. Okay. So, and you're going to have to excuse some of the stuff that we have out. <laughs> I put some garland up, and this is where our stockings are hung, because we don't have a mantle. We don't have a fireplace in our house. Um, so above the television, there's this garland that runs across and down on this side and then down over here I just put a sleigh full of um, what are these called now pine cones and these large pine cones my husband and I collected while we were walking because um, in the warmer months there is a neighbor that has a tree that has pine cones that fall and we we collected them off the um, the street we didn't go in his yard um, and they're pretty long pine cones. Um, there's some smaller ones in there that I had for many years, but these large ones came from a neighbor's yard. And then we have this metal tree here that I had found while thrifting with Carla. It was gold and I painted it white. And then I just hung some of the um, handmade ornaments that my husband's family had um, picked up at a local craft fair um, many years ago. This was before I ever even knew my husband ex existed. So um, <laughs> uh, while his parents were alive, they, they purchased these at a craft fair. And so I just hung some of these um, on this little ornament tree. So they have a spot. And so here are some more ornaments. And I picked that up last year on sale at Mar Marshalls. There's actually a light um, in the bottom, but I didn't put the batteries in. <laughs> So this is um, pre-lit garland, and here is one of the ornaments that I did make. Um, it's just a train from Michaels in red, and then I added this little um, wreath on the front from Tim Holtz, and a bow and some buttons to kind of decorate it. And then moving along, this is uh, the reindeer that the stocking is hung on. And then this one over here is another um, ornament that I did. It is a little girl on a sled. And I just added some snowballs and then some wooden trees. And they're just wired in as opposed to hung. Here's a Santa in a sleigh. And I gave him a tree with some bling and some candy cane. And I think there's a piece of candy in there too. And then I added some ornaments around it. And those again, they're just hung on there with the garland. And then the last ornament I have is right here which is a wagon and it has a little girl and another tree glued to the top. Now down here is this beautiful stocking that was made for me last year for, by Gloria, um, Crafty Cake 7. She hasn't done a lot of videos this year. So Gloria, if you're watching, we miss you and your crafting videos. She made this ice skate for me. 
and we were in a swap together and I made one for her and this is the stocking that she sent to me in my favorite Tilda pattern, Millie Teal. So of course the stocking is empty right now. And I don't know if it'll get filled because that's not up to me, that's up to husband, right? Um, so anyway, you come down here and this is just some garland I bought at Michael's last year. A lot of my stuff is from last year. Um, funny enough, I didn't have any red ornaments. I've never decorated in red, so I had to buy all the red ornaments or make them. And so these giant bells are from Dollar Tree, um, and then I think the rest of them came from Michael's. Um, these are smaller bells also from the Dollar Tree. Um, and then up here, there's these two little birds that I got from Target, and I turned the light on. This is a little LED tea light. There's a little tree back here that I purchased from the thrift store. And then over here, we have a little bucket that I just filled with two little trees and some ornaments and stuff and um, pine cone. And then I have a banner. I'm going to try not to get in a shot. I have a banner that goes across here. And the reason why it's empty is because I um, hang our Christmas cards on here. So whenever I get a Christmas card, which we haven't gotten any yet, um, for us, I hang them on this banner. And um, so when they start to come in or whatever, I'll use like some um, clothespins to hang them up. So that's the living room and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so this is just a little area of the kitchen I chose to kind of decorate. Um, this is another sort of ornament that I created or decoration. Um, I had this little Norfolk pine in my craft room last year and it's grown a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys go back and see my video from last year, you'll see that uh, it was a little bit smaller and I really didn't want to decorate too much of it because it's in the kitchen and it's a because it is a Norfolk pine it doesn't have strong branches so you can't really put heavy things on it. So. I just tied some of this ribbon that I also used on the front door wreaths. Now this ribbon came from Marshalls in case anybody's wondering from last year. I bought it on clearance. And then um, somebody had given this to me in a swap I think. Um, and I don't remember of course. My memory is not good. So thank you to whoever sent this to me. It goes great with the pot which is green. Then I made this little um, mason jar ornament sort of looking thing. I put some of that fake snow in the bottom, the snowball looking snow, and then I added some of the red glitter that you can get at Michael's. And this mason jar came from Target. Uh, the ribbon comes from Hobby Lobby and the jingle bell comes from the Dollar Tree. And you can see I tried to intersperse some of the, the glitter in there but it's kind of heavy so it sunk to the bottom. And there's different um, sized snowballs in there. I just thought it was cute. You can still open this jar by the way. Um, and then there's more of those tiles that I got from Michaels. Uh, Recollections is the collection it's from. And then this Santa Claus is actually an old Hallmark um, ornament. You can see the hook on the top. I just glued them down to the lid on top of a wood piece, wood chip. Um, so that's it's elevated a little bit higher than the, the tiles. You see that? Um, I bought them at a consignment store. It was really cheap. And then I added to the um, Tim Holtz wire, um, sorry, brush, um, bottle brush trees with the Tim Holtz um, bling stars that he came out with this year. I think it was this year. And then added some of the, again, the fake snow around the base. So that is my little snowman mason jar ornament. And actually, if you look, I'm going to show this to you, but if you look through the little pass through to the craft room or what was the craft room from the kitchen you will see our tree and I'll have to go light it up because it's on a timer so let's see show you too much of our kitchen here because it's a little bit of a mess so there's the tree and you can see this as you come down our hallway from our bedroom or you know come into the kitchen area from the main um, from the living room um, and I will do a close-up of it so you guys can see all of the little ornaments on it. Okay, right so back. this is the last part of the inside of the house that's decorated. This is the Christmas tree. And I did show a picture of this on Facebook. I um, found my, let's see, my, uh, what do you call this, tree skirt? Um, it was hiding in a box. 
my husband's like, it means a different colored tree skirt. So I found this um, tree skirt that I had purchased, the red one, um, at Target on clearance last year. And I just stuffed it into a box because this was after Christmas. So I put it around the tree on top of the chenille um, bed cover that I was using originally. And it does look better. Um, you can see the deer down here. It was funny because I was messing around that I think he's got this look that my husband gets when I have some crazy idea, which is the, are you kidding me? Or the, um, what kind of look? Um, some of you guys know what that is. Um, and then I just added some, there's another large pine cone, some smaller ones, and then one of these frosted, um, what do you call these? Poinsettias and some jingle bells. And I tied some ribbon around their neck. Um, I got these two deer at Marshall's this year. So here's the tree. And I should have started at the top, but you know, I'm always backwards, right? So you'll see that um, I'm in my old craft room. So the projects are still up on that shelf there because I don't have shelf shelving hanging in my craft room yet. And I'll hopefully do that this weekend. But I decorated the tree with red this year and um, I like how it turned out. I added these little things from Hobby Lobby, these little dangly things. And then this red velvet ribbon that has like the fur trim around the edge came from Michaels last year, I think. Um, and then I used some berry sprays to wind around the tree. And I think that really is what gave it like this not so candy cane looking thing. I don't, I didn't want it to look like a candy cane. So I'm glad that I used it. And um, the banner that says, oh, what fun actually came from the Target dollar spot. I just thought I'd add that in there. But I'm going to get closer so you can see some of the the uh, ornaments that I've made. There's some of my candy canes. Um, the banner has actually these cardinals at the end of some of them. Um, there's one over there. And then you'll see some of my... Um, these ornaments came from Michaels. All of my just standard ornaments came from Michaels. Because I didn't have any red ones. And there's one I made. There's a mason jar that I showed. And there's another one. So you can see I put the cardinals in, which are really red, beautiful, beautiful. There's another ornament, some frosted azalea, azaleas, <laughs> poinsettias, another um, globe. So yeah, I love how the tree turned out this year. And I think um, it really um, came out well. So. That is my Christmas tree and Christmas decor for this year. Um, I will, I have some more stuff that I did to the craft room, but I don't know if I'll show it. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll have time, but anyway, that's my video for now. I hope you enjoy it. And if I don't talk to or have another video, which I probably should, um, before Christmas, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, in case you don't celebrate Christmas. Happy New Year, and um, you know, thank you all for being nice. Let me just say it that way: for being nice and encouraging, and watching my videos, and just I'm I'm really thankful that you all like what I put up and post um, on my YouTube channel, and I really have enjoyed sharing with everyone. Um, it's been a big surprise at how many people really enjoy my work. And I really enjoy doing it for you all because, you know, it's it's a hobby. Um, it's meant to be fun and relaxing and drama-free, I should say. Um, so I, wanna, I really just want to thank you all for a great year. And I hope you guys get to spend some time with your family and your friends um, this holiday. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.